We'll walk around the compound. We're gonna see some cats. We'll see some peeps and hear some squeaks. So sit back and relax. Fred Kona, he's a tiger. Hey. Hey. Hey there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, I'm a tiger too. <laughs> I am a tiger too. That's right, Bandito. You are a tiger. He's like, do I get a journey song? Do I get a journey? Um... Senor Leon Bandito. I was trying to think of a faithfully tune, but it just didn't work out. Quit while I'm ahead. And then someone points out, but I don't think you're ahead. <laughs> you're just quitting. <laughs> ah, just, never mind. <laughs> don't, don't point that out. You're a stout boy. You're uh, you're like one of those uh, uh, dark bitter beers uh, that you know is supposed to get you through with the like a Baltic Sea winter. Don't pee on me. Hello all you big cat lovers out there, it's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walker on the Compound webcast. Hi, hello, hello. Heidi and I, uh, we went, we had a nice excursion day. We went on like a date day yesterday. It was really nice. We actually got to like just get out of the facility area not have to focus on work and get to go and like just you know be a be people we went to go have brunch hi hi <laughs> we went to go have brunch at a really uh, awesome place uh, that uh, I We've gone to have brunch at before, and we've really liked. So let's let's go to that place. Let's do it. Hi. Ooh. The new the new location of the Beacon. Ooh. It's called the Beacon Cafe. Really great. Then from there we went to a store called the Decorators Warehouse, which is Texas's number one Christmas decor uh, store. It's a Christmas decor mega store, and it's awesome. It's open all year round. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi. You working with uh, you working with the boy? Oh yeah. Aw. And then uh, and then we went over to. We went over to a mall, because that's where there's a, there's a theater. And so they're like, okay, go to the mall, do some time killing. So, you know, went and got like a smoothie and some, and some smelly good stuff. And then we went and saw a movie. We went and saw the Elvis movie. Ooh. Which was stunning. It was stunning movie. I it was like so happy went and saw that in the theater. It was incredible, really was. Haven't seen it. If you if you haven't seen it, and you're even just like mildly interested in just music and biopics and biopics. Why have I say bio? It's not how you. I actually thought it was pronounced that for the longest time for years. Oh, it's one of those biopics. <laughs> <laughs> well, now a uh, a biopic. Well, we went and saw that. It was so good. And like I remember seeing like previews for it, and be like, oh, that looks like it's really gonna be good. And it it like blew both of our expectations out of the water. It was just magnificent. 
young man that uh, played Elvis just it's like yeah he, he became him it was crazy and then there like there's like one reviewer uh, and I'm not spoiling it because it's like there's there's certain like sections at the very end of the movie where they're showing actual clips they're showing actual clips of Elvis you know just different kind of montage type stuff and then you realize <laughs> you realize like oh that's right this is a there was a that was that's the guy you know like though the not the guy that we were just watching for the last two and a half hours like that's the guy it's it really was like oh the, yeah that they, they they they're so, they're different people <laughs> yeah there was uh there was like multiple multiple parts that were uh, surprisingly emotional um very moving so yeah it's really good <laughs> <laughs> munch, 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 munch. Munchy, 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 munch. Munchy man. We are, I think, finally gonna actually have like a like somewhat of like an you know more cool down weather next week. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. It's gonna be great for the cats. It's gonna be just great for the people. Everyone's just psychological well-being because man, this summer has been for the birds. Oh. I, uh, I I should also say, when we went to that uh, decorator's warehouse, because it's it's mostly Christmas. It's like the overwhelming majority of the stuff in there is is Christmas. But they did have like a couple other seasonal type stuff. Like they like they let fall, they let some fall kind of stuff, harvesty. They had like little harvesty type sections, Thanksgivingy, and maybe even like a couple little Halloweeny type things but I mean for the like don't you know it's it is a Christmas store but it's just like hey here's like one shelf you know like here's some coffee cups with like you know some some cartoony kind of spiders on it there you go there you go other holidays Christmas is very benevolent to give you the space Hi, Rasa. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. But there was a... Uh, there was a... There was a... Okay. There was a pumpkin. Like a carved pumpkin or a painted pumpkin. And I think it was a paper mache thing. I don't think it was an actual pumpkin, but it was, you know, like a styled kind of paper mache painted pumpkin thing. And it was like by the checkout. And uh, he, actually, here, here it is. Um, this is the picture I took of this pumpkin. And uh, I, <laughs> we were checking out, and I was putting, like, Heidi was, like, getting stuff off of the cart, and I was putting stuff in the bags as the, you know, the nice lady was checking things out for us. Some of our Christmas decor. And I look over and I'm like, does that, 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 does that, pump, that pumpkin looks a little bit strange, doesn't it, to you? And he's like, yeah. And then the checkout lady's like, that's one of our new ones. Uh, her, she's called Gossiping Gertie. And I'm just like, so she's gossiping? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get a little chuckle out of that one. But you know, like that's like the, that is something that kind of caught me. Where it's like, you guys, you have this Christmas store, and then you have like three shelves, maybe half an aisle out of this entire like warehouse store that's like dedicated to that does allow like for Halloween stuff, and that's one of the things you choose. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's trying to sabotage the the Halloween incursion, I think. Someone is just like, you know what? Like Halloween can't can't get a foothold in the Christmas store. <laughs> we have got to we've got to do something. Hi. I know I know just that I know just the uh, the saboteur. I just I know just the agent, Gossip and Gertie. <laughs> Okay, okay, hello.
You're a tiger. You're a tiger. You're a tiger. Ow! Mother fool boy! That has pokies on it. Jeepers, crim. <laughs> yeah, there's some thorny thorns on there. And I just like, as I was like bringing, I just let, I just let the gravity, don't pee on my hand. He's like, it makes it better. Like, I don't know if that's wives tale. Trust me. <laughs> I just let the gravity of my hand just kind of fall and it just like, just got caught right on some thornies. Da! I just saw go, 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 Goliath around here. I don't know where he went. Goliath! Robert Cat. Meow! Hello? Hello? There he is. Yeah, Elvis movie was amazing. Austin Butler, the guy that played Elvis, like this is it this movie is going to make him a superstar and it is absolutely deserved. Uh and if he does not get an Oscar nomination for this thing, I mean that like this just I, then I, I, saw, I saw this on Reddit, and it's like, then we will know the world is a lie. And I read that, and I like, that is true, and I agree with that statement, because, and he deserved, like, he, he, I can't think of anyone else that would uh, deserve that better. He sang all the songs, too! That's the thing! That was the other thing. He sang all. I think that maybe there was a couple things where they, like, just layered some of actual Elvis's, like, stuff on there, but for, like... Almost every single thing you hear is him, is the actor. Because I remember when Heidi and I, we were walking out of the movie and we were like, oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so good. And like, we started like, as I'm driving and Heidi is looking stuff up, she's like reading different things and articles and comments and stuff. And then she's like, yeah, you know, like the 30 year old us and Butler sang all the songs and we're like, what? <laughs> I thought that they used recordings, just like that's, I thought that they used like just like old Elvis recordings. Like that was him? It was that's and then it just took it to a whole different level. Hi! Hi, potato. Are you soaking? Are you boiled? Are you boiled potato? Mm. Yeah. But well it's lukewarm, lukewarm soaked potato. <laughs> Which is a delicacy in some some places. It's a, it's a Latvian delicacy. It's a lukewarm uh, soaked potatoes. We got a group of uh, Latvian university students here today. Give them a tour. They were very nice, very sweet. Hi, potato. Hey, potato. Look at you. Oh my gosh, there is some ham in this potato soup. Right? As he's over here, as he's over here, he's like, I don't see what big deal is about potato soup. I don't see what big deal is. I don't see what the big deal is. Um. You know, potato soup is overrated. Potato soup is overrated. You know what's really cool? Choo choo trains. Choo choo trains are really cool. Yeah. yeah. Choo choo trains are way cooler than potato soup. I know, because I checked. I did some telephone surveys. And out of 17 houses, at least 12 of them said, please stop calling here. Mm -hmm. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, sugar pies. Hello, sugar pies. Pies made of sugar and sweetness and love. I know, it's feed day. I know, it's feed day. You guys are going to be getting chicken later. You guys are going to be getting chicken later. And it's going to be so nice. And then you're going to go, nom, 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 nom. Okay, 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 okay. We were just doing all right. We were doing... Just such a crazy thing because like earlier today, earlier today, when I was walking around with those those Latvian kids, both the boys were in here and they were really, really sweet and we were talking and like they were rubbing on the fences and being nice and then all of a sudden this happens. So, it's like you never know which one you're gonna get. Hey, hey, oh boys, I tell you what, I tell you what, hi, you're going to be mad too, hi mister, hey big guy, hi, someday we're going to hear you purr, someday we're going to hear you purr, you know that, he's like never, you'll never hear me purr. I'm like, I don't know. I'll, you may let one slip out. You know that? You might let one slip out. I don't purr. I don't purr. Cougars don't purr. And I'm like, ah, uh, I've met a bunch of cougars that do. And he's like, prove it. Picture didn't happen. I'm like, why well, can't take like a picture of a, of a purr? And he's like, there you go. What more do you need to know? What other proof do you need? Anywho, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com. For more information, you keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy, and thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat, 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 cat. Oh, there are cats, cats with cute little feet. Oh, there are cats, cat, cat, cat. Oh, there are cats with stripes, and there are cats with manes. So let's watch as Derek walks around the compound tonight. Yeah.